Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about Trash Compactor. So, let's look at the example first. Trash Compactor Cycle When a start button is pressed, the compactor should compress trash for 20 seconds and then it should throw the trash out of it for 10 seconds. While throwing the trash out, there should be the presence of trash collecting tray. That means, there will be a start button. When pushed, the compression, the process of compression will start and it will process for 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, when there is that uh, trash collecting tray, so there will be a sensor that detects the presence of trash collecting tray. When there will be uh, uh, detected, the trash compact uh, the trash collecting tray then the actuator will get activated to throw the trash out and it this process will go on for 10 seconds so for this example we will use normally open contacts with that we will be also using some timers like tp and t on so let's move to ti portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example this is an interface of ti portal version 16 so firstly we need to go to PLC tags. I will double click on it and double click on default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first input is start button and then there will be the sensor which detects the presence of the trash collecting tray. And then we have two outputs. The first one is compactor or I will write as compressor. And then we have one more that is actuator that will throw out the compressed trash. After that, I will double click on program blocks and then double click on main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. I will minimize this and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. So this normally open contact will be a start button. And then this coil will be the compressor will which will compact the trash and then after that this compressor will uh, will start working only for 20 seconds so it will work for 20 seconds for that i will use a timer operation that is a tp and the preset value for this tp will be 20 seconds and after that we'll use network tool here i will insert a normally open contact for start button and then a coil this normally open contact will be the start button and then when there will be a trash collecting tray so for that we will use one more normally open contact that will represent the sensor and then the coil will be the actuator so this actuator will run when the compressor has stopped so there will be a delay of 20 seconds so here we will use a t on here and the Preset value will be 20 seconds and the actuator will throw out the trash for 10 seconds. For that, we will use a timer that is pulse timer TP and the preset value will be 10 seconds. So, as you can see here, when start button is turned on, the current will flow through it. As a result, the compressor will start compressing the trash for 20 seconds and after 20 seconds, when the sensor gets activated, when there is a tray, then the actuator will throw out the trash for 10 seconds. So now, I will start simulation here. Click on OK. Click on Load and then finish. After that, I will start the CPU here, click on OK, and then I will start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to the project view here, where we need to create a new project. Let's create a new project here.
After that, I will double click on simulation tables and then simulation table one. And then I will right click here and load project tax. So I will turn on the start button. You can see here the compressor has started working and it is compressing the trash. So while compressing, if there is a sensor, then the actuator, the compression has started and the actuator will throw out the trash when the sensor is activated and it will repeat this process for 10 seconds. So when again start button is pressed, the compressor will start and during compression, if, this, if there is the tray, then sensor gets activated but the actuator will not do the process. because there is being uh, the compression process and after compression, after 20 seconds, the actuator will start working. So after 20 seconds, actuator will work and it will work for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, this actuator, this throwing actuator will also stop working. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.